Hi. This is Shea Girl, and I'm coming to you today. This is Friday, and um, <clears throat> I got an email from one of my viewers, and she, it was she was asking me about relationships. Um, well, I'm going to tell you. I'm I'm going to I'm going to call her um, Spider because the spider is always traveling and they're always moving and you know they they can go up and they can come down and they'll pretty much know which direction they want to go in. So spider, my thing to you is that you stand your ground, you be the person that you want to be. You be in a relationship with who you want to be in a relationship with. Don't let no one choose you to be in a relationship with them. Oh, I know he's cute, he's fine, he got money, he got a nice car, and he ba ba ba. No, that's not who you want to be with because that type of person is not going to be with just you and you alone. So my thing to you is if you want a relationship, you want an honest relationship, then you need to choose someone that's on your standards and, and have your morals. They like what you like. They want to do what you want to do. They want to go where you want to go. You know, you have to initiate the relationship to have the upper hand because if you let him come into you and you fall heads over hill over him, then he got you. You know, and it, it'll be like you'll be playing reindeer games, and you know what they say about reindeer games, they'll get you killed. Or uh, either they'll put you real, real bad one way or another. So you don't want to go there with no one being in a relationship because um, he needs to respect you, and you need to respect yourself. And you need to stand firm on the grounds that you own and your principles that that you have within you. Don't let no one take that away from you because you have uh, all the different type of men out there. And they'll come at you all nice, soft, and sweet, and baby, baby, and then they help the skelter, you know. So now you in an abusive relationship. You're trying to run from them. They got all these different women outside. Now you didn't find out about four or five different baby mamas that he told you he didn't have no kids and he never been married and all this kind of bullshit. You don't even want to go there. And above all, do not get into no relationship with a man that's coming out of a relationship because no matter how long you with him, she's always going to be there. If he has kids, the kids is always going to be there. So if you're not ready to take on the, the whole him and his whole suit, then you need not even be bothered with him at all. Oh, I'm coming out of a bad relationship. It's the reason why he's coming out of a bad relationship. It's not because. It's either she has fault or he has fault or they both have fault. So you got to be careful who you show your teeth to, in other words. You know, and um, above all, above all, you know, you go where your heart is and what you want. You know, you don't want nobody that you're going to have to help along or you're going to have to extend your hand to motivate them to get up and do whatever it is that they need to do. You know, because if you run into a real man, you'll be able to tell whether or not he's a real man because you won't, be, you won't have to tell him what it is that he needs to do. You won't have to tell him that you don't want to be bothered with the baby mama drama. You know, you won't have to tell him when your back is hurting or you're feeling lonely, you know, because he's going to be able to look at you and tell just what it is you need, how you need it, and when you need it. And above all, do not let no man encourage you to go into um, what they call it a monogamous relationship or some shit like that, you know, where you're doing a threesome and all that, because that means that he's having a sexual problem. And if he's having a sexual problem, he's going to go out there and he's going to mess around with whoever he want to mess around with, how he want to mess around with, when he want to mess around with, and you know who's going to get the raw end of this deal? It's going to be you. Because if he go out there and he mess with a dirty girl and he's not protected, then he's going to come back to you and he's going to put it on you. You understand what I'm saying? So this is where um, the part going to come in at where he's going to be accusing you of cheating on him and all this kind of stuff. And when you find a man that's constantly cheat, uh, complaining about what you're doing, what you're not doing, and who you cheating, you cheating on him, and this, that, and the other, nine out of ten, he's out there doing something he don't have his no business doing. But above all that, a man is designed to like women, you know, because that's his nature, and he going to talk to other women. He's going to look at other women. You understand what I'm saying? He's, uh, he's going to 
fantasize about other women because that's his nature to do these things. But if he has respect for you, then he can restrain himself where the other women is concerned. And vice versa, the same thing with you, where other men out there, you know. So you got to be faithful, and you got to make sure you're ready to be faithful, and you got to make sure the person you're dealing with is ready to be faithful also. So, um, I mean, like, I can go on and on with this. Maybe I'll touch back at some other given time. But my heart goes out to everyone, you know. I love you guys. Smile. This is Shay Girl. Remember, this is life. It's real. And we in it. Holla at you guys.